Exploring Django Admin Interface, Section 5. In this section, we're going to explore Django's automatic admin interface. We'll start off by creating an admin user, then we'll activate the admin interface and register data models with the admin. Finally, we'll explore and customize the admin interface to perform simple CRUD operations. Let's begin with the video, Creating the Admin User. Now, before we can process Django Admin's interface, we need to create a super user. And by default, the admins, Django's admin is enabled when you created a project. And you can verify by checking to make sure that these requirements are added to the installed app settings in the settings file. And so let's go and create this admin user so we can start accessing the admin interface. So here back in the IDE, make sure we're going to go in back into the admin back end. So right here, again, make sure that you are also in the virtual environment. Okay. Now, if you open the settings inside the flat scheduler, you see that in the installed app section, you have all these different modules or packages. Now the admin is here. These are all created by default. So all of these five modules here or packages are required to make the admin work. So if you don't have this, just make sure you install these in here. So that is pretty good here. Right? It's nothing more to do because it's already created for us. Now in the command terminal, we just need to create this super user. And so to do that, we're just going to go and use this command called pi manage and create super user. Very simple like that. It's going to prompt you for a password, email and things like that. So I'm going to call it instead of Chris, I'm going to call it just admin. And the email will be maybe just like admin at admin.com. The password will be admin123 exclamation mark. Pound admin123. Make sure they match. That's fine. So make sure you remember your password and so you can log in. Okay. And then so I think that's about it. So now we have the admin in install added in there. So if you have the SQLite, if you go into the user here, the admin. I'll see if it's in there or not. It should have the user installed in here. And we'll verify it. Okay, so here it is. The admin we just created had the password has been hashed. But so now we're good to go. And so we already go and access the admin panel.